Hi, my name is Megan Arters, and this is my media bias report. The first thing I am presenting on is the bias found in the NBC Nightly News on Wednesday, October 18, 2017. Anchor Anthony Mason gave a rundown of what would be talked about in the upcoming episode. He gave special focus to the ambush of four United States soldiers in Niger that were, quote, caught by surprise. Next, with the words disrespect written with a picture of Donald Trump behind it, Mason talked about how President Trump had been accused of disrespecting the family of one of the fallen soldiers. Next, a picture of a security guard who had had a close encounter with the Las Vegas gunman was shown, and a small segment of an interview with him being conducted by Ellen DeGeneres was shown. Lastly, a story about women rowing in Chicago and somehow, quote, living stronger would be shown towards the end of the episode. Then Mason began the first story. The first story, titled Ambush in Niger, explains where, why, and how four American soldiers were killed in Niger last week. It is stated that the soldiers were conducting a patrol where a pre-mission briefing slide said, quote, no enemy contact expected. This makes viewers question why and how exactly these soldiers lost their lives. Pictures of the soldiers are shown with an American flag behind them, putting the soldiers into a heroic light. A segment of a press conference with Pentagon Lieutenant General Kenneth McKenzie is shown where he states that there was no reason for the soldiers to have expected trouble, enforcing that although these deaths were heroic, they may have been able to be stopped. The segment was trying to show the severity of and mystery behind the deaths of those soldiers. The second story titled Honoring the Fallen was a more in-depth focus on the president's response to the deaths of the soldiers in Niger. It was stated that the president was denying accusations that he was less than respectful to the family of one of the soldiers. The White House claimed that John Kelly heard the call and thought it was, quote, appropriate and respectful. An image of the widow of Lieutenant Johnson was shown where she is crying over the body of her husband. It makes the woman out to be a victim against Donald Trump, who is shown folding his arms in a disrespectful and inflexible manner. The anchor states that Trump did not say anything about the deaths until he was asked on Monday, 12 days after it happened. This made Trump seem out of the political loop and made it seem as though Trump did not care enough to talk about the deaths until it was brought up to him. The story was mostly about how insensitive Trump had been when dealing with the family members of the fallen soldiers. Despite this, NBC included a very small snippet about how Trump had called Arnold Wright the father of Dustin Wright and was, quote, cordial and offering condolences. NBC did not put as much focus on to the good thing Trump had done, but put lots of focus on the negative things he had said. The first two stories together took up about 10 minutes of the broadcast. The fourth story, titled Fighting the Opioid Epidemic, took up about three minutes of the broadcast and focused on how much damage is actually caused by opioid addiction in a year in the United States. It was stated that tens of thousands of Americans die each year. NBC states the number of people affected to reinforce how much of an epidemic it really is. Pictures of pills, people in ambulances, and people being arrested give the story a very serious tone and give the viewers a negative connotation on drugs and the opioid epidemic. The fifth and final story I found bias in was titled Under Oath and took up about four minutes of the broadcast. It focused on Attorney General Jeff Sessions and how he was questioned by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Various clips of him avoiding questions and arguing with Al Franken were shown. This story made Jeff Sessions seem somewhat incompetent, as he was shown multiple times being unable or unwilling to answer questions asked of him, whether it be about what he said to various people in the past and what the country was doing about Russian interference with future elections. Overall, the NBC Nightly News showed bias against Trump and people related to his presidency and the opioid crisis, while putting a positive image on the fallen soldiers of Niger and their families. I analyzed the political sections of CNN.com and FoxNews.com on October 22, 2017 to see how biased media is in online articles. In regards to editorial position, most of the authors of CNN had moderate to liberal biases. There were various articles on CNN with moderate titles such as Trump urges House GOP to pass Senate budget tax reform, but other articles seemed to be critical of Trump. One article titled, Trump, King of Debt, Makes GOP Fret, definitely has liberal bias. The authors of the articles on Fox, however, seemed fairly conservative. One article titled, 
Jimmy Carter, media tougher on Trump than any other president in memory, makes the bold statement that Trump has had one of the toughest times getting along with the media. The author, though, seems to be blaming this tough relationship on the media and not on Donald Trump, showing a more conservative bias. Along with this article, another article titled Stop Throwing Cash at Poor Nations shows the author's conservative bias on international affairs, claiming that the United States is not helping countries in need, but is throwing cash at lower nations. Overall, the editorial position of CNN and Fox News are drastically different. In regards to story positioning, Fox News seems to have a more conservative and Republican bias. Fox News has an article titled, Trump Slams Wacky Representative Wilson, Says She's a Disaster for the Dems, filling up the entire page. Whereas CNN has an article on the same topic titled, Representative Wilson Hits Back at Trump, Niger is His Benghazi, that is visibly larger but not taking up the entire page of CNN. Both websites having this topic as a major viewing point show that it is prominent to all sides of the political scale. The titles alone show the political bias of the different news websites. In regards to coverage angles, Fox News had three pro-administration articles, including one titled, Trump tweets his administration has been busiest in U.S. history, and one anti-administration article titled, Gold Star Father Kizar Khan says John Kelly shouldn't have rushed to Trump's defense whereas CNN had five anti-administration articles and no pro-administration articles. One of the anti-administration articles was titled, Congresswoman on John Kelly's Criticism, quote, I am a rock star now, where Congresswoman Frederica Wilson laughs at John Kelly's criticism of her, showing the disrespect the author and many others feel towards Trump's administration. The Fox article does not. On the other hand, the Fox article includes information claiming Wilson called some people in the White House racist, and the CNN article does not. Along with those articles regarding Frederica Wilson, both websites include articles about Jimmy Carter working alongside Trump. In conclusion, it is obvious that there is media bias in both in websites such as CNN and Fox News, and nightly news reports such as NBC Nightly News.